Hello and welcome back to the channel and today's video starts in an odd place. It is my kitchen. I'm sure in the recent uh, videos you've all been pretty bored of the uh, the wind flashing across the, the, the uh, microphone on the camera. So as I can do this bit inside I've moved it in here. Now you may notice I'm leaning on something. Well of course you know what it is. You've clicked on the video and the, uh, the thumbnail shown you. Yep. We are looking at the Karcher SC2. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out SC stands for steam cleaner. Unless you didn't know, then by the way, SC stands for steam cleaner. <laughs> so, <clears throat> why have I purchased a Karcher SC2? Well, if you're on my Instagram, which, if you're not by the way, there's a link in the description, You'll have seen, I like to do a, a few cars on a weekend, um, and I'm sort of like a hobbyist at it. Um, these things are great for interiors. Um, if you haven't tried one, or looked into one, um, they are really good for getting in places like, you can go in the pedals, you can go um, in door sills, you can use it on the upholstery. So, some people really don't like the wet back. Um, they think it leaves too much moisture in a seat and can often promote mould. Whereas a steam cleaner, however, will leave a small amount of moisture, but tends to use a lot of heat to withdraw oils and dirt and other substances out of fabric, which is fantastic. Um, I'll just show you a before and after shot here. This was a, a customer's car the other day, and it had like a, a sweety, uh, toffee, caramelly uh, substance left in the door sill. It took me around 10 seconds, a burst of heat uh, from the steam cleaner, just to basically turn that into like water. And I just wiped it away. It was brilliant. So, um, the SC2, <clears throat> it's obviously, I, I call it a, an entry level steam cleaner. There is an SC1 can't say I've ever seen it, but it says it on the box. Um, so I went with the SC2, personally. Um, I'm not a professional, as you know. This uh, you know, I purely do this channel as a hobby. I really just enjoy what I do. Um, so I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a steam cleaner because I'm not out there in a van or in a unit or whatever way you do your you may, you may do your professional day job if that's what you do. So, as a hobbyist, I looked up and a lot of people recommend the Karcher SC series. Um, a lot sort of say the SC4, but again, as a hobbyist, I'd come down to the SC2. So these retail, <clears throat> normally, I think if you look on Karcher's website, they recommend at £149.99. Uh, that's great British pounds. However, you can find most uh, retailers of the, of the product will offer it at about £100 on offer. However, at this current moment in time, I got this from Amazon UK for £90.90. £90. Not sure why it was such an odd price, but let's say £91. So, from the recommended retail price, I obviously got quite a good deal. So, <clears throat> in the box, you do get said steam cleaner. You also get attachments. They call this one the detail nozzle. You also get a brush which is quite tough bristled and I probably wouldn't use that anywhere in a car except for maybe pedals. Um, that does attach as so. So <clears throat> we have that. We also have a wider head attachment. Now, this personally is what I've been I've used on a seat. Um, combined with, it comes with this. So that places on. It's elasticated at the bottom. Place that on, and you can scrub away at the seats. So you also get that cloth with the head. Finally, you do also get. You see, it's in the packaging because this is a car channel, not a floor cleaning channel. You get a floor cleaner with the extenders. So for me, they're pretty redundant. And finally, you also get that, which goes with the floor cleaner. So, 
with that in mind, I wanted some more cloths. Now I took to the internet um, and I headed for an auction site, eBay. Um, and I did find uh, you could buy this actual cloth or a variant of it, probably not, it's obviously not from Karcher, but the same styling. I think it was three or four of them for about £15 was the rough price. <clears throat> However, I also found having dabbled with the uh, steam clean a little bit already, you don't necessarily need the cloth on it. You can apply the heat and wipe away, as I said with the car. So, if you look at uh, Karcher, they state, it, I think the um, cloths they supply are made from terry cotton, I believe it's called. So, went on the tinter web again, and I looked up terry cotton. Now, as you know, I am quite an avid fan of Detailers United on Amazon. Also put a link to their um, shop below. But they have these. Now you can see, that's a nice big size. This is a terry cotton cloth. <clears throat> so what I do, is I apply some heat, I wipe away. Now the great things about these is a pack of six of these will set you back just four ninety nine. They are not made perfectly, the edges are rough and they are literally made to be wiping away dirt and um, other grimy substances. They are not your highest value towel, hence the price. Fantastic price at 4 99 for six compared to <clears throat> 13 or 14 99 for three or four. So straight away, that's bigger. It's way more usable. Look at the size difference. It's way more usable and it's a damn sight cheaper. So what you could do, wipe away a few washies, chuck it in the bin, get yourself some more. So guys, big tip for this, go and get yourself some extra cloths from Detailers United. Link in the description for both the store and the cloths. <clears throat> So, moving on, the steam cleaner. Some people don't like the SC2 for its tank size and for its warm up time. Uh, I will admit the warm up time um, is around six and a half minutes. Now, you may have all just gone, what are we going to do for six and a half minutes? You're cleaning the car, carry on hoovering. Part way through moving, knock on the power socket. That is what I have done, and I have not had any bothers. Time management, guys, six and a half minutes really isn't going to bother you. Um, so, either that, or you can pay for the next one up, which I believe has an, uh, about a 30 second warm up time. That could be wrong, don't quote me on it. Um, now, the tank holds around a litre of water, which so far, when I've been using it on a car, I have not once run out. I have even um, gone round my, I have an ensuite bathroom with a shower, toilet and sink. I went all the way round it last night, I cleaned the shower, I cleaned the sink, I used it on bits of the toilet to blast some air underneath the seats to sanitise, um, and I didn't run out of water again. So for me, the, li the litre tank has been fantastic, it's not one once run out for me. Uh, personally, obviously, maybe if you were doing something quite large, or you're blasting an extensive amount of heat on a particular area, it could be an issue, which then I can see why the six and a half minutes would then be annoying, because you'd have to wait for it to cool, so you could open the valve, because um, if you were to open the, the valve for the water guys uh, too early, you could um, burn yourself, so caution with that. This thing does get quite hot. <clears throat> so, um, if we just take a look at the handle, so you can see there's the hose going to the machine, and this is the handle, really simple, trigger what i do like about it personally is i don't know how well you can see the buttons here but we've basically got it on lock at the moment so you cannot press that if we come up one setting you get a little bit of plate you can see it might be a bit of the air coming out a little bit and we can go all the way up for a big push of air so if you are working in a sort of sensitive area, you can ask it for a, a small amount of air. Now things to also remember, when this thing first heats up, 
don't go straight in because there is a release of water straight away. Um, it, it depending, if, especially if you're on the the high setting, sorry, and you press the trigger, the first thing that comes out is uh, a jet of water. Um, jet's possibly a strong word, but basically it leaks water before you then get steam. So just in a, a non-sensitive area, just you press the trigger first and allow it to sort of blast out its its water before you get steam. So, what else did I want to mention? I mentioned the word sanitization. <clears throat> so, we're in a world where we've had a pandemic now for over 12 months. And sanitizing your hands, your eyes, your ears, and everything going has been a big thing. Steam cleaners can sanitize and do sanitize very well. The hot, the hot air is great, especially if you, you know, short little blasts of air inside and wipe down. It's great for sanitizing. Now, disclaimer for you guys. Some people talk about the properties of disinfecting. Now, I've done a little bit of research, and although there's some varying and conflicting reports, the ability to disinfect is sort of down to a long, prolonged period of heat being placed in an area. Now, to me in a car, I wouldn't want to sit on a steering wheel blasting heat. You're going to wreck it. You're going to destroy something. It's not going to happen. So, in terms of car cleaning, we will stick to the word sanitize. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out, take the steam cleaner outside. I'll show you me filling it up. And then we'll turn it on. And I'll, uh, I'll show you a few bits of areas that we can do around the car. Sound like a good idea? It does. But wait, just a moment. I want to mention today's video sponsor. So, <clears throat> on the 8th of March, which I believe is Monday, uh, a brand new website is being launched by a company called Mod Central UK. Now, Mod Central is going to be a one-stop shop for all your car needs. Whether it's parts, products, anything you want mod central is going to have it so guys um but this video is going up the night before so i will update the description box for monday to have the link to mod central down below but go and check them out um it will be the best thing you do in terms of cars hopefully you'll never need to go anywhere else um so big 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 shout out to mod central you will notice for the rest of the video we're going to have the logo in the bottom corner so, um, go and check them out, guys. It's going to be great. Right, let's move to the car. So, we've moved outside. And as you can see, here's the machine. Something I failed to mention, but I may wish to later rely on court, <laughs> is that the machine does have really handy storage compartments. So, there's one for the brush in the middle, one for the detail nozzle, and one for the head. You'll see I have attached the, uh, the cloth there just for ease of use. That's gonna go on the back. And then there is a part here where you could stand the uh, taller extended arms. Again, something I don't need for the car. So, this is your fill-up point. So, here's a screw top, so we'll just remove that. And then we place the water. There we go. So, so, I think there was a little bit of water left there, but you see, it was a litre jug, and uh, there's dribble left in the bottom there. So, now replace the lid. I'm much happy that's tight. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. Like so. Now, you will see two lights, green for power, and it's a yellowy red one to say the heating component's on. Once this goes off, we're ready to go. So, we're at the car now, and uh, let me state, normally I would vacuum first. However, the car's not massively dirty. Um, 
and we're only really going to be working on um, I'm just going to show you a little bit here so the steam is all warmed up um, now what I would do for this area is I take a detail nozzle so you can see it's just basically a lot more accurate and it simply clicks on and then you can use this button here to click off so with the detail nozzle on I'm going to set it to low steam to start with now this is where I'm on about the water comes out first so if we just look down here I'll just use it just on the floor if I just place you there if we just go up so you can see the water came out first and now we've got a jet of steam so please be aware <coughs> that when you are steaming you do get water coming out so whilst wiping with a cloth is great you also need one for excess water so I'm just going to go in on this area we'll go with a low steam to start with um, you might see here's the main sort of dirt I'm going to apply some light steam and then we're going to wipe uh, top tip do not leave the steam on any one area for a long time um, biggest tip with the steam cleaner is uh, use it in the area you want but try to keep it moving um, especially with things like carpets headliners you can really damage glue if you uh, leave the heat in one area for too long so let's give it a go Look at that. Now I'm not kidding you, that was clean two seconds ago. Little bit of steam, wipe, clean. And I'm sure you can see from there just the, the effort it, it takes. It was so little, but the cleaning power is ridiculously powerful. So again, I'm going to show you that there. Brilliant. Cannot fault this thing. So, I'll show you a few other areas we can work on. So doors can be a great area for use on steam, especially like this handle. Um, personally, I don't have a lot of passengers in this car, but um, we spoke about sanitizing and obviously the climate that we're in in this world. And literally, a little bit of steam and wipe. It's squeaky clean, and um, you know it's had a good blast of heat and sanitized that area. So now I wanted to give a little talk about this head. So you can see here the cloth sort of dips in but it has got um, brush heads underneath that work with the cloth and we can use on the fabric seats. Now I would probably normally put some product on but as we're doing a review of this we're going to use this alone. We're going to see what we can change on the seat. I'm going to go for a bit of high steam here and um, let's just go in and have a quick look on the seat first. So we can see a little bit there in the in the top uh, left hand side and uh, a little bit down this side. Now, I'm just going to go over it quickly, we'll give it a wipe down and we'll just see what we can do in a few seconds. So here goes. So there we go, as I said we need to keep it moving because um, of the heat in the fabric you can see your skin's going to be great after this I'll give it another wipe down so I'm not sure if that little bit of discoloration there is clear but there is a little bit come off the seat so obviously I'm not going to lie, the seat is a little bit damp. We have got over that very, very quickly. But 
you'll see that the area here that had a little stain has now gone and once that seat dries it will um, it will definitely look a little bit better we would probably quite easily spend a bit more time on there but for now just as a quick demonstration you can see the use on fabrics so all round I think it's a great back tool. over to the driver's side now <clears throat> I did talk about different attachments and I showed you this little nozzle brush now I don't know if you can hear how tough those bristles are but you're not really going to want to go in on anything inside a car other than down here down here we have our pedals and in this particular car there's a plastic uh, floor mat let's bring you in for a closer look so I apologize the light isn't perfect down here but you can see particularly the clutch is quite dirty and this floor mat is now I know what everyone's sitting there going put some APC on it and get it wiped down after a brush I could do that or I could just give the steamer a blast I mean I'd, in an ideal world I'd probably combine the two an APC and a bit of steam but on this occasion we're reviewing a steamer let's get the steamer in there so I've got you in the dark depths of my footwell unfortunately I didn't prepare very well for this and there is a child seat behind the uh, driver seat so <clears throat> I can't get in much closer but what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some steam to this with that little brush and we're going to agitate with it and then after it's magically disappeared in a poof of cloud I'm going to give it a wipe with the towel and uh, we'll see what kind of results we can get remember guys I did say that I would probably use an APC on this first allow it to the dwell and then agitate with this but for today's demonstration we're going to use steam alone As you can see, sometimes it can be quite difficult to see, so we're just going to allow that cloud to sort of disperse a little. And, as if by magic, this white towel eh, I'm quite surprised at that. It's not massively dirty. I do admit, we probably dropped a lot down here. Um, it is damp and you can see a little bit of dirt so I am going to have to clean up after myself down there but I'm sure you'll admit that that looks much cleaner so should we give the big one a go let's do it It is difficult to see and I can't tell if I've been everywhere but again white towel oh, did unfold dirt but white towel let's give that a wipe over and there's areas I've missed I will admit but woof look at that wow so you can see I have missed some areas down here we'll try and go in there again but I do lose sight unfortunately I'm trying to film in this area and steam it's a little bit tight under here but we give that a wipe another good douse I want you to check that out so there we have it you've seen me putting it to use a little bit and I hope you agree that steam cleaners can be fantastic and um, for me this one is brilliant right now as i say sc2 more than big enough for a hobbyist and uh, i don't personally mind the wait time um obviously just be careful of, of uh, the excess water um, towels are a biggie so <clears throat> three top tips to take away from this video guys i think is uh one 
make sure that first shot is going somewhere like the floor not in the vehicle you are going to get a, a little bit of water once it's stood um, for a few minutes as well you can potentially get a little bit of water so it's always best just to sort of aim away give your first sort of trigger press in, in a, a non-damaging area second one do not leave the heat on any one particular area too long excess heat can damage a lot of things so please guys if you're doing in one particular area keep it moving side to side up and down whatever it may be keep it in the area that you want to clean obviously but just don't hammer heat on a spot you you are going to damage things and a big one for me is cloths i've just mentioned it there um but cloths are a huge one uh, uh, extra cloths are a biggie as i say uh, link in the description for Detail is United. Six for a fiver. Bargain. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it's been useful for anyone looking to buy one or wondering what steam cleaners can be used for. They're just literally a couple of ideas. There is loads. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you have. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. We are going to hold a competition, a giveaway, when we get to 100, 100 subscribers. Put my teeth back in. And don't forget today's sponsor, Mod Central. Check out their website and enjoy everything they have to offer. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.